Okay, today we're going to try to put on an exhaust gas temperature sensor and then hook that on up with the live wire system. And the way that it's been recommended is there's a, let's see if I can find this uh, cable in here. There it is. There's actually a, a plug on here that uh, when you get this unit that you can actually plug into. And talking with the folks at SCT, they recommend that there's a, a wiring schematic online uh, that, that they can give you. And you can hook it on up with that particular, and plug it on into that, uh, that uh, I think it's a, a six wire um, connector for video. Uh, to be quite honest, I'm not sure what type of connector it is, but if you just look at it, you can, and uh, it'll be apparently obvious. And I found, uh, um, the, the, the connecting, or the connector for it online, and I just cut it up and uh, put some terminals on at the end of it. So um, I really didn't need to put all those terminals on it, but I, uh, I just went ahead and did it anyway. And so that's the one part. Uh, the other part here that goes with it is this, th that they recommend, uh, is the PLX. So um, you've got your K-style thermocouple that plugs on in, you've got your connectors for analog out, and you got powered on up. Now for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this, this unit underneath the dash. It, um, just I want to keep it out of the weather, and, um, and there's a power supply underneath the dash when you turn the key on. So it, to me, it just makes more sense to put it inside the uh, truck rather than outside. And the... Uh, but the thing of it is, if you run that, run this through your, your exhaust gas temperature sensor, you've got the, the, uh, the uh, essentially the connector there, and I'd like to not disturb this in any, any way. Uh, I would like to just leave this alone, but uh, somehow feed the thermocouple signal into the truck. Well, so how do you do that? Well, if you look online, and go on eBay. So I finally got it out of the bag here. But if you look online, you can buy this connector on eBay. So now what I can do is I can plug uh, the uh, exhaust gas temperature sensor, you know, into that female connector there, and then run it the wires through the the uh, firewall. There's some wires that are actually available. You don't have to do anything. You just uh, connect them to on the one side of the firewall and, and then through the other. And at the end here, I'll show you what, what wires I selected. And then, on the, of course, on the other side, you have the other connector. So you run this connector on over to the the, uh, the box and, and you're pretty much ready to go. There's nothing really to it. You just have to wire it up. So now you've got Everything set it up such that you can really just plug the thing on in. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, step number one now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put the, the um, exhaust uh, gas temperature sensor on in. And um, I don't know if I'll take any video of it, but uh, maybe I will at some, some, some of the steps. So that's it for now. Okay, I'm going to try to go ahead and drill out of an elbow right there um, and put that ETT in there. And the after doing a lot of reading and review, I'm going to actually just use a uh, drill going very, very slow, making small chips. I'm not going to grease the drill bit and I'm not going to grease the tap. And just going very, very gently and um, punch the hole through there and then follow through with the tap. So that's the uh, that's the, the steps I'm going to follow. I okay, just went ahead and drilled that hole in there. It went pretty well. Uh, it just was very very slow. I'm going to use a magnet right now to dig out everything, um, just to make sure there are, I capture whatever chips are on the other side of that. And uh, then I'll go ahead and tap it and try to uh, again fish out any chips that are on the other side. And uh, hopefully that'll be it for the, the, this phase of the, of the project. Okay, I just started that tap on in there. Give you an idea how 
fast you should go on this. Seems like it's pretty soft material. And I have, a, of course, the tap. And a, uh, this is a 3 um, 8 eight-point uh, socket and uh, with a little bit of an extension. And it, it, it's important to note that you do not want to run the tap all the way on in. It's a tapered thread. So I'm going to go about half, maybe two-thirds, and that's it. I can always run the tap in a little bit more if I, if I need to, but uh, that's as far as I'm going to go on, on this, and uh, we'll see how everything uh, uh, tightens up when I'm all done here. So that's as far as I'm going to tape this. I'm going to continue uh, tapping this, finish it on up, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, I've got my hole there. I'm going to feed my EGT through here from the bottom, and now it's just a matter of putting that on in and tightening it on in there. I guess I'll have to do this with two hands, but you get the idea. Okay, I want to show you what the uh, the hook up is for the thermocouple on on the on the engine side of the firewall, and you can see. I can point to them here. These are the, the, the master or the main wire harness coming on out here. You can see there's some wires here that are not terminated. And these wires, of course, go to the, uh, on the upside out of the dash. You, so you can use these wires in, as, as, uh, in any which way you like. I'm going to just use the, the blue and the white one here and uh, tie that on end to my little thermocouple um, splice here. And then run my thermocouple. Well, as you can see, it's already run all the way down to the the, uh, the exhaust manifold on the driver's side. And I, I don't think I can really show you a very good picture without getting from out from underneath the truck. But you know, there it is, right there. It, so it just runs on up, um, all the way on up, up to the up to the top here to the wire harness, and um, I think that's pretty much it here. Okay, I'm continuing with the install of the PLX uh, EGT sensor and this is the wire coming through the firewall and I've just tapped on into it for these uh, these wires and um, of course the, uh, the two of these wires are for the thermocouple. This third wire right up here is actually a power so I'm getting my 12 volt power supply from that particular uh, wire and I'm running it on over and I'm just putting it on, you know, tapping on in here, and I wanted to get my my uh, matching thermocoupler here wired on up, hence that's why I've got all these wires hooked on up the way it is. And then um, you have to, of course, hook up the uh, the power supply for this, uh, 12 volt, of course, black being ground, red being hot. And then you have your two output wires, one of them is a ground, and the other one is a uh, the actual uh, analog out and you can see that um, you know the green is going to be the ground wire and the, uh, the uh, gray wire there is the actual analog signal and I've got um, here the black wire hooked up to a uh, ground here on the dash and uh, as you can see this, this is the um, if you look down here I've got the tan and the blue wire here hooked up to that uh, analog out from the PLX here. So these two wires right here are coming from the PLX box and they're hooked on up to this cable. And this cable is the loops around here and hooks on up to this guy right here, which is just your, your generic cable. I got this off of eBay. Um, so if you hook this on up, just as the, I have it wired up, uh, hopefully everything will be all right. Plug that back on in. And okay, I'm going to show you, th this is the wiring schematic, and I think if you just do a search online for an EGT wiring manual, it's a PDF file, hopefully you'll, you'll find it, but if not, here's one that you can uh, refer to. Uh, this is uh, for one cable you can plug on into it. I'm actually plugging on into using it this six pin analog cable. I guess um, this is actually a firewire cable. Um, 
If you do buy it, make sure that you get the six wire to six wire because if you get the six wire to four convert, um, it, it won't work. And I, I'll tell you, I know that from experience. Um, so you get a six wire uh, analog cable here and you should be good to go. And when you wire this thing on up, uh, you know, of course it has the, the um, I guess I should show this too here. This is the ground out, you saw that. You have the analog on out. So this is, uh, the, of course, the, uh, the green wire, and that's the gray wire. And um, so that's, then you power it on up over here, and you have your uh, uh, thermocouple case sensor that plugs in right there. And if we scroll on down a little bit further here, uh, you'll see, you know, for when we set this thing on up, we want to have the, the that uh, blue wire goes to ground, and then, of course, the orange goes to analog out. So, um, so this is what you're going to do. You, that six pin, you find that blue wire, and then you uh, hook up the the uh, green wire to this one, and then the other one, which is the, um, I guess you can say the orange wire. That's that's going to go to the analog out, which is the gray wire. So, um, I guess I, I just show this. This should be good. Uh, they don't show you what the green wire is, but uh, but. You know, pretty much if you take a look at this plug, you can figure it on out. That, that ground has a different type of terminal. And, oh, by the way, you know, when you uh, stick your pins in, um, you know, if you want to keep the green wire for this one, you got to, it's a one-way ticket. So once you stick that pin in your in your receptacle, they, they don't actually give you a terminated plug on it. You actually have to take the pin, crimp it on the wire, and stick it in there. Uh, make sure you got everything right before you, you do that. So I think that's it for this particular segment. They do have, if you scroll on down, um, some other stuff in here, which uh, doesn't really, isn't really applicable. But, uh, but nonetheless, that's it for uh, this segment. Okay, we're going to finish on up by setting up the live wire TS unit, and it's very straightforward. I don't have the engine fired on up here. Uh, you just go ahead and double click on this guy and right now I have it selected for analog N7 uh, red firewire so that's the guy that you're gonna pick I mean you can pick some other ones um, but uh, this is the one of course that you want to have and then the next thing is is you're gonna set up the equation and uh, well, it's kind of very straightforward here I'm, I'm actually quite surprised the um, You've got uh, the number of different units here. You got the SCT, EGT, or the PLX, and you just pick the uh, the PLX there. So that's a uh, pretty straightforward. So you just pick that guy on up, and uh, you can change the range from min to max. Um, I set it from zero to 1850. I think it's the sensor is rated up to 1875. Not that you would ever want to get there. And um, and you can set up alerts, and I still haven't got the alerts all set up right. But um, so um, it's a pretty, pretty slick setup. And um, if I were to put this on pause here, and I'll fire up the truck here in a moment. Okay, we're doing about 65, 70 right now, and going down the interstate. We've been driving for about an hour. And if you pan on over here to the SCT unit, you'll see that, you know, we're somewhere right around, we're going uphill a little bit, uh, six, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll see that, that's that analog in right there. In typical driving, if I'm not going on up the hill, I'll uh, be somewhere right around five or 600 degrees. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.